for me, it's so important to surround myself with people who lift me up and support me and encourage me and maybe a little bit of holding to account now and again if yes, I definitely. find myself calling you getting on. distracted or calling me on my stuff. Yeah. But also being really careful about hanging out with people who they might not pull me down, but they can be quite negative or yeah. quite small-minded. Yeah. And just being in the presence and in conversations with them you shrink. Yeah. You don't come out lifted. You come out smaller. Yeah. I call those people dream thieves. Ah, dream thieves. I like that one. Life vampires. Yeah. They just want to suck the life out of you. Yeah. They just want to dissolve your dreams. They just want to suck the blood out of you. Yeah. Well, I, I don't want to... They're, they're not there to make you feel good, are we they? We all know them. And I yeah, think we it's do. hard... As women, we love to take care of people. I mean, a lot of us like to please. And well, so we're natural nurturers, aren't we? Yeah. When you've got someone who's a friend you've had for a long time... And they are a dream thief. Yeah. They might not consciously mean to be, but no. to to then, oh, we don't want to hurt their feelings. I just, I've got to a point where I'm not too concerned about hurting their feelings, but I've just constantly, consciously make the decision not to spend very much time with them. Yeah. And they just find themselves on the outer. Yeah. And they can wonder why. Yeah. If they want to know why, they'll ask. Yeah. Well, they <laughs> probably, they, they probably don't want really to know. don't want to know. <laughs> they really don't want to know. So people just gradually are filtered. Yeah. are filtered out of your life as yeah. they become like that. 